Hi everyone and a warm welcome to this week's Warner Dev Blog. Today it is all about the next operation, Red Juggernaut. They say, hello Commander, we hope you are well. Hot on the heels of last week's reveal of Warner's first operation, we have even more to share. Today we unveil Operation Red Juggernaut. But there is more. Both operations will be released in a new milestone. The code name for this milestone is SALT or SOUL. Now, the reason I don't know which is because I went looking for pronunciations of this and found French pronunciations of both SALT and SOUL, so I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. So please do let it be known, dear viewers, especially those French ones. I do go and look sometimes, and sometimes I just do not get an answer. But I believe the aim is it's named after Jean de Lusault, who was a French general. Obviously, the meat of this milestone is indeed the two new operations. So it will contain the two missions accessible from the single player menu. These scenarios can only be played from one side, NATO or the Warsaw Pact, and are scripted tactical battles with special objectives and battlefield conditions. The operations are only the beginning, many more operations are in the works, expect more details to drop in the coming weeks and we will update and improve our operations, taking the community's feedback into account. In last week's dev blog we detailed the first of these operations, Black Horse's Last Stand, make sure to check out that post or my video on it and the accompanying video which is also linked over in my video in the description if you want more details and a sneak peek at what to expect. Now I'm going to step aside from the dev blog for a brief moment just to say something of my own about the operation. Please remember they're going to be asking for feedback on these operations and please do give it. But also remember we need these operations to help introduce new players to the game. So they have to be accessible and they have to be a way for new players after they've done the tutorials to get a feel for the game, get an understanding for it. We can't make them too difficult. In my mind, there's always a possibility to add harder difficulty levels, but, you know, once people play these, if they have a really horrible time with it, they're going to leave a negative review and refund the game. So when you come to give your feedback, remember to spare a thought for all your friends who have never played a Ugen game because it's just too hard, when the reality is they could play it, but the current learning curve is just a cliff face to climb. And as ever, as much as I appreciate the views on my guides, and I like being helpful, many people will never find my channel, I'm a small channel. And it's those people I feel you gen need to target with these operations. Okay, fine, I think I've got my point across. Let's move back to the dev blog. So the next subheading is Red Juggernaut. Comrade Commander, you'll lead the headstrong tank men of the Soviet 79th Guards Tank Division in an effort to squash the improvised NATO defences on the outskirts of Frankfurt. Nothing can stand in the way of the full armoured might of the Soviet army after the hard-earned breakthrough north of Fulda. Frankfurt lies within your grasp, but to claim this grand prize, NATO concentrations close to Hanau, the scattered 3rd Armoured Division and the 11th Armoured Cavalry Regiment forces must be swept away. Be aware, superiors at the 8th Guards Army will monitor the progress of your armoured spearhead with the utmost interest. Failure is not an option, Comrade Commander. Definitely getting Red Alert 2 FMV vibes there. Okay, next subheading is the 79th Guards Tank Division. We had a great amount of fun thinking of a title for this operation before settling on Red Juggernaut. For instance, also in the running was March of the Tank Men, a link to a famous Soviet World War II song, very apt for this particular scenario. The 79th Guards Tank Division occupied a special place within the hierarchy of the Soviet group of German forces, the 8th Guards Army, being the only armoured division available to this formation in the southwest of Eastern Germany. As such, it would have undoubtedly led a breakthrough deeper into Sentag territory. The vast tank forces would likely have clashed with the armour of the 3rd American Division, the nemesis of the Warsaw Pact formation. The division itself was stationed in Jena and could count on some of the most advanced Soviet tank vehicles in its ranks. This includes the T-80, the BMP-2, the Tunguska and the 2S-3 Actasia. And more. It was a ready division, first line, meaning its staffing and equipment allocation was close to 100% even in peacetime. The next little subheading is Red Juggernaut Explained. During our hypothetical World War III scenario, after very heavy fighting near Fulda, the 79th Guards Tank Division managed to fight its way to West Germany and rush through the Kinzing Valley on June 23rd. The objective was Frankfurt. 
However, NATO reinforcements started coalescing to the north of this important logistical and military hub, close to the town of Hanau. Smashing this array of 3rd Armoured Division tanks and remnants of the 11th Armoured Cavalry Regiment became paramount. The key to the Soviet armoured doctrine was to exploit any breakthrough as quickly as possible and, most of all, to keep moving as fast as possible. Red Juggernaut will be an exciting example of this strategy and either result in Soviet tankmen in everlasting glory or provide a most shameful defeat. The outcome lies in your hands. Red Juggernaut in-game is the next subheading. In this operation, as the Warsaw Pact, you'll be attacking through a broad valley with a wide variety of armor from the 79th Guards Tank Division at your disposal. You'll start with many more command points than the enemy, but you'll only gain new command points by controlling command zones. The most valuable zones will be the closest to where the enemy NATO forces are assembling and the furthest from your deployment sector. The goal is simple, take control of the battlefield and destroy all enemy troops before they have chance to reorganize. Taking the first command zones might be quick, but the more you push, the heavier the concentration of enemy troops you will encounter. You need to keep momentum going, even the armored fist of the Soviet army gets blunted after too many hits. Red Juggernaut is a tough fight, especially in the later stages of the operation. And you can see the video that has been put together by Eugen Panzer down below in the description over on their channel. And that is everything for this week. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Please do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.